Shazam! Yeah. All hands on deck. <laughs> like that, like that, bitch? See how I'm like bringing it all together there? Uh, so we, we actually went pretty controversial on this one. Not really controversial, we went pretty... Mm, uh, differences of opinion. We were juxtaposed in this one. Yeah. We... Yeah, we did differ in this one. Vish really liked the movie. Yeah. I wasn't the biggest fan. But, um, yeah, listen to it, see what you think. We also open with Apple, because Vish has been conv- trying to convince me for the past uh, few years. Yeah, <laughs> a few years. On how uh, important it is to use Apple Pay. Vish, quickly tell them why Apple Pay is important. Four great things that you loved about Apple Pay. Go. Privacy. Uh... Uh, did, why did you put four? God, I don't know. Is it, ease is of use. Okay. Um, Speed. I don't know. And All why do we like good. four? I don't know. I, I chose I four. I think one should be the one. True. Right. All right. But um, yeah, listen to this one. That's our dog in the background. Say what's up <laughs> because she wants us to go give her some love. So we're gonna stop yeah. this intro now, cool. and uh, you can go listen. Here we go. All right, three, two, one, boom. And we were back with another episode of Crack Gamers. This is not your weekly roundup. This is a movie review. Yes. We checked out a movie yesterday, and we are going to review it because it's good content. Life life is a good source of content creation. Mm-hmm. If you constantly talk about your life, you have unlimited things to talk about. Right. But before we do that, I would like to put a quick shout-out to Apple Pay. Because Vish totally turned me on to this, and I was like, oh, this is so genius. So uh, you want to... a year later. Huh? A year later, that's right. Because you've been, you've been using it, and yeah. I was like, uh, you know what? It seems kind of, like, unsafe. But after, after okay. hearing about your pros for it, and then trying it out for a couple of days, I'm like, this is, this is the future. <laughs> that's There's no way. It takes a year or something to convince someone, right? Oh really? That's like a uh, statistic. Are you just saying? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> okay. All right. True. True. All right. So before we go into the movie review, uh, want to explain what Apple Pay is? Uh oh, it's a method to pay uh, from your phone. Your credit card is on your app called a wallet. And on your iPhone, hence your Apple app. Pay. Apple. Uh, yeah, I mean you can yeah. do that on your Android phones too, actually. Really? Yeah, of course. Oh. All right. Well, that took away the. But Apple does it in a way that. Uh, like you said when you purchase something it didn't even show up as if your credit card it was a different number yeah so uh, I always get receipts because I like to like do my own accounting to like make sure you know money's money's where it's at because you gotta like get money get paid you know what I'm saying Mm. Um, but if you look at the last four digits on the credit card they're not the same which I thought was really cool that's a great way to keep like security and stuff because when, Mm -hmm. when, when you use your credit card It'll show you the last four digits that of that credit card, but then when you use Apple Pay, it generates like a random last four digits. Right, random number, yeah. Yeah, so like, but although that kind of messed me up because I was like, when I was looking through my receipts to like record them in my like um, Excel file, I was like, wait, what credit card was this? Mm-hmm. But it's totally fine because the genius of it is if you go to the card, it'll show you your last purchase. So I don't even need the paper anymore. I could just I just been doing the paper thing to like prompt me, I guess. Yeah, but you don't really need it anymore. You don't need it anymore. I thought that sure. was cool. So if you're if you're thinking about like should I do this? Should I not do this? I would highly suggest doing it because I went to the movies last night with Vish and his brother and my sister, and I didn't even bring anything but my phone because I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna this get is something, what I've been saying for so I know, it's, long. <laughs> it's so genius though. Like like <laughs> I just thought so like my my um, barrier to entry for this one was. You were like, oh, you have to call the credit card company to set it up. Well, so I was like, oh, that's so annoying. Like, I don't want to have to do this. But it was kind of quick, though. Was, you called, right? Yeah. So then I was like, all right, like, whatever. Look, you've got it. It's working for you. Let me try it. So I put it in, and I didn't even need to call my credit card company. Yeah. I was like, oh, it, like, sends you a text to your phone. And then. So yeah, you, yeah. I think, they, I think they figured out. Like, I think when I set it up, it was a while ago. Yeah, so yeah, I for sure. Left like that. But, but the, the genius of what. <laughs> bless oh, you. Said the Lord. Uh, so, what I'm, uh, what, what I like. So, mm-hmm. what I liked about it was when you're putting your credit card, it you just hold your credit card up to the thing. So, like, I'm gonna explain to you how easy this is. 
because I want everyone to use it. Okay. Because Apple gets a percentage, and I believe their Very genius. Small percentage, but, but still, percentage their their genius know. should be propagated throughout the lands. Um, basically, all you do is you you hold up your card next to your your camera. It's like it's like put your card within this zone, and then it reads the card for you. And then you just have to input like um, the name on the card sometimes, and uh, the back numbers. Uh, that's yeah. it. It's just like what are the back numbers? So that's it. And then it'll be like you need to verify so then you click verify via text which is genius because then the app reads your text and then it auto verifies for you a lot of people are like hey this is a privacy issue i think it's just convenience privacy issue What's like they're like oh the apps are reading my text something else blah, blah. you know and like that's kind of weird right like like for for example, how people are like, oh, they're listening like the HomePod we got. It's called HomePod. Yeah. Oh, it's your thing. So we got the HomePod, and then it's like, oh, they're listening in our conversations, and they're marketing to us, et cetera, et cetera. But when I learned about this in school, I was like, that's actually way better for a consumer because if I'm searching for a camera, this has happened in the past. I was looking for a lens, and then I was like. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to cost. And then I went on Amazon, and then the the lens ad was already there. I was like, oh, shoot. So you can, like, click through. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. it's just, like, it depends on if you want to look at the glass half empty or half full. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. it's like either they're, they're manipulating us or they're providing us with convenience. I think it's both. Sure, they're manipulating us, but same time, mm-hmm. I enjoy the products. Or just get off the grid, like the kid in Shazam, which we're about to get into now. Okay. See how, see how I like that, Vish? Uh, yeah, but they had I cell phones, though. That's true, but the kid didn't. All right, we're going to go into it yeah, he was... right now. Um, yeah, nice. yeah. It is, this is the movie review, major spoilers. If you haven't watched it, definitely don't listen to this. Or listen to it, and then make your decision of, should I spend the 20 99 that we spent for IMAX to go check this okay, out. Okay, yeah. Anyways, so uh, we're going to score it, talk about it, rescore it, yeah. see if we sway each other's opinion. Sure. Vish, what was your score? Eight. Wow. Eight. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Ready for this? Mm-hmm. Three. Okay. All right. Wait, this is the first time we were so opposed. Is this the first time? No, I don't think it's the first time. No, I'm pretty sure. Like, at least the others were kind of close. Like, within two... Other DC ones? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, but this one is more like, we really disagreed on this one. (laughs) I... All right. So, I'm going to preface this with, I didn't even fully watch the movie, because I fell asleep multiple times, and every time I woke up, I was like, oh my god, it's still going. I'm going to try and fall asleep again. Okay. (laughs) So, (laughs) that's that's how bad I didn't Uh like this movie. For me... I hated Aquaman. Love you, Jason Momoa. You're awesome. You're an inspiration. And you're jacked. But I didn't... And I'm watching Frontier. Yeah. But I actually did not like this movie more than Aquaman. And I really didn't like Aquaman. You like... It didn't... Oh, you... I didn't like Aquaman really bad. And that, that was a horrible sentence. Yeah, what? And then <laughs> I, I really disliked Aquaman. Okay. But this was worse than Aquaman for me. Okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right, so sure. go ahead, Vish, because you are a huge fan of this. You walked out of there like, like. Okay, so first of all, Christmas morning. Yeah, I mean, you. Okay, first of all, when we watched the trailers, you were I more into yeah, this. Yeah, I was really stoked because I was like, oh, but the comedy. I knew it. Like, I felt like it was. Uh, this is too jokey or too corny. Cor- uh, I don't know if I want to use that, but I guess so. It felt like that, like a little weird. Uh huh. Um, so I was more skeptical, skeptical going into it, Uh huh. but I was surprisingly surprised how much I liked it. Yeah. And I was, I was so excited going into it that you I was it. surprised at how much I did not like it. <laughs> so look at that. Yeah. So we switched. Yeah, we did switch on that one. Uh, <laughs> so go ahead. Cause uh, you loved it so, so hard. And I don't even remember the movie that much. Well, the first thing that I, well, it's not like a positive. It was just like, oh, I remember that actor, uh, Lionel Luther guy. Did you recognize him? Two or ten. I don't know the, the dad. Names. The dad of the bad guy. Oh yeah, who is he? From Smallville. 
Oh, yeah. By yeah. Luther's dad. Okay, cool. No, I, was, I thought it was kind of, oh, I don't know. I mean, oh, Lex like, Luthor's dad. Lex Luthor's dad. Yeah. I mean, Lionel yeah, Luthor's Lionel name. Luther's okay, name. sure, sure, sure. Sorry. That's why he looks so familiar. I was yeah, like, who's yeah. this guy? <laughs> I've seen him before. Uh, and then, um, so I didn't know who this bad guy is anyways. I don't know anything about Shazam's story. Uh-huh. So, anyway, that was fine. Um, so what I liked, things were I like were, I thought the casting was good. I thought the the, the character that played Shazam. Yeah, no, yeah, totally. And the, the chem- chemistry between that Shazam and the kid, I don't know his name. Um, yeah, do, good, no, totally. Right? I, I agree with you on this one. Don't get me wrong. These actors were amazing. Their interactions were very good. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it was, a, it was a great movie. But the only reason why I didn't like it was, and I'll save it for after Vish talks. Okay, okay, okay. So the things I like. So again, another thing I liked was because uh, I guess this is a kids movie, and it kind of felt like that going into it. Yeah. And everything about it was. This is what a teenager would do if he got superpowers. Yes. Yes, exactly. Right? That's Ex- the, those are the things I totally. like. Totally. Okay, wait. wait. Per- per- perfect, perfect segue. And then we'll jump back to yours. Sure. So that's exactly why I disliked it. Because mm-hmm. it was like, for me, superhero movies are supposed to be inspirational. Like, when I watch them, I'm like, oh, I would love to stand up to whatever. You know, like, like... The- Aquaman, even mm-hmm. though I didn't like it, it's like, mm-hmm. okay, I get it. He's trying to find his past. He's trying to protect his home world. There's like an altruistic agenda there. Sure. You're trying to be an actual superhero. This kid was like... Not trying to be a superhero. He was like spoiled. It was... Exactly. That's what pissed that's me off, That's why I though. liked it. That's what pissed me off. I was like... I because was like, that's what a kid would do. It, it's We're it, not here to it, be... Exactly. It was like watching a spoiled little brat, and I was like, yes. that's why I didn't like the movie. I was like, I'm I would done. probably do the I'm same done. thing. That's why I liked it. See, I wouldn't do the same thing, and that's yeah. why I didn't it's like, like no, it. It's like, no, no, because they weren't trying to be superheroes. This is what you would do as a kid. Exploit it. <laughs> Yeah, totally. And That's it, why I like totally it. exploiting it. Every time I woke <laughs> up and I saw him using a superpower, I'm like, "Oh God, you do not deserve this. Go back to sleep." Yeah, but like the, uh, I did. That's why I liked it, and that's why the the, the only the, the bad guy there was he's the only he's only there to make him become the superhero that he's supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. True. Right. So. But, but it's it's promoting selfishness to me. That's why I was like, ah, I don't like it. I don't think it's not promoting selfishness. I think that's what every kid would do. It's reality. I don't think so. I, I think, think so. maybe in the West. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's, it's just up, I think it's just characters upbringing, from though. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like if you had like a very astute um, child from Asia or something. You, you know, like those kids that like, oh, I also play violin and I go to like mathematics class and I also run the school. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like one of those. I think they'd be like, oh, great superpowers. Let me uh, use this for the common good, not to make $75 begging for uh, like a panhandling. Not panhandling. What was he doing? Busking. Yeah, that was – so, um, yes. Uh, that part, like the kid was there to be more of a – the one with the not – didn't have superpowers at the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. to uh, – Anyways, convince him not to do what he was doing because he was oh the oh, the, over... the kid with the leg problem yeah yeah he was awesome though he, the acting I was so like, good that's what I'm saying yeah the I think acting it was all and the interactions were so yeah. good I just can't stand the story so it's like for me that's why it deserved a three like I, I just I I feel like <laughs> this is not a good way to like promote to kids no 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 that was his journey though outside after that you the the change in him right. Maybe I just didn't see the change. Maybe you didn't. Because I was, like, trying to sleep through it. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, It was he was more, like, pushed to the change, but he did end up changing. I it guess. was, all right, it, a good, good example. So when he's like, oh, eat with me. So the one the one kid with the leg problem, he's like, he's like, oh, I'm really good friends with the Shazam guy. He had, like, a dumb name for him. But he's like, oh, I'm really good friends with the Shazam guy. He's going to come to lunch. And then I was like, yeah, that kid's not coming to lunch. And then... Like, the Shazam guy's not coming to lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he didn't come to lunch. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, no doubt. And then he's like, oh, I got bullied because of you, right? You were supposed to be there and, like, make me cool. Well, first of all, why do you want to be cool? I get it. Your leg's all messed up, whatever. But, like, it, it just seemed like desperation. I was watching people. I was watching desperate characters, you know? And I don't like that feeling. Of like death. maybe that's like inherently in me 
you know, like, I don't like that feeling of desperation. I like, please love me. Yeah, but these are kids, though, right? So. Yeah, no, I know. That's why it made sense. But that's why when I was watching it, I was, like, irritated. It reminded me of, like, being a little kid again. And I was like, oh, God, that's so annoying. <laughs> I did more. I looked at it more differently in this aspect of, like, what you would do with those abilities. And that's, I, I get, that's why. For sure, for sure. But see, like, as a kid growing up, there's a reason why I had a close-knit circle of friends like you guys. Because yeah. I was like, I'm not interested in trying to be popular or... Um, no, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they were so desperate for attention and love, and like that sickens me when I see it. It's mm-hmm. like it's so weak. Yeah, yeah like you know what I'm saying? Like, I never wanted that for myself mm. because it seemed a little pathetic to yeah. like, like self-aggrandize in your mind through external perceptions mm-hmm. of other people. So when I watched that movie, I was just watching somebody I would have been like. You're so lame, bro. <laughs> like, oh well, yeah, I mean that, those, that's that's the corniness di- part of that, right? But, but it would be different. I was able to look past that, I guess. Yeah. In the aspect of, like, I I fell for the ones that I liked, and I focused more on that than than the things that I didn't like about it. Yeah. And, and I think that's what, like, this is what I would do with the superpowers. This is what I like. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Uh-huh. That's what I felt like. This kind of hit the marks for me. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I didn't look at it around as like play- like see see that's why I, no actually no hold on. Rewind. That's why I love Spider Man. So Spider Man growing up was sick for me because Spider Man was an outsider. I guess that's why I liked emo music too, is like outsider <laughs> culture. Maybe I'm, I'm like psychoanalyzing myself now because I'm like, why did I hate this movie so much? Mm-hmm. You know when they say like the thing that you hate the most is usually the thing you're dealing with the most? Like you're you're projecting. Yeah. And I'm like that I'm probably projecting my own disgust over like insecurity. Mm-hmm that that's why I didn't like the movie. It was just a bunch of insecure kids. And I was like, oh, man. See, see, the the difference is like Spider-Man, right? He was using his powers for himself. He's like, dude, this is sick. I would do the same. That's how I would use my powers. Mm-hmm. I'd entertain myself. I wouldn't try and become popular with powers. That's so lame. Like, you, there's something wrong with you if really? you are seeking externally for some sense of, like, self outside of yeah. yourself, you know? All right, go ahead. Uh, so, no, no, you're right. Yeah, but it's like when analyzing it, like that level, I don't think that they were trying to do that. I think DC was also trying to find a way to make money, make money. Yeah, exactly. And make and, it work because they that's kept what I'm failing. Saying. But see, but they see, kept but, failing at the ones that we liked. Right? right, because that's 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 a point to our society. Yeah, it's like course. so. What's going to make money is trying to be popular. There's a reason why all these these kids out now are flexing so hard. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it. it's like, you, we're not looking at the internal value of things. We're looking at the external mm. value of things. And that, even the way it ended, when he's like, oh, he's going to show up for lunch. I'm like, oh, great, you got a new car. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like that kid that bought like a Beamer and it's like, oh, that's not your Beamer. That's your parents' Beamer. But you're like, you're like looking like you're so cool because you have this Beamer but it's like you're just really insecure because you need this Beamer. Spider-Man never did that. Spider-Man was like, all right, I'm going to go chill on my own. And no, he did the same thing in the beginning. He went for money. No, no, no. There's a difference. There's, he, he wasn't like, oh, I'm going to bring Spider-Man and make myself popular at school. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. He was still a nerd at school. Yeah, of course you're going to go for but money. But he did use it, I, though, at school. No, no, for sure. Yeah. But it's like okay. there's – there's a difference there. It's like Spider-Man was going after greed, right? So it's like, all right, that's cool. Like, I would make money too. If, if I had the ability to, like, you ever watch that movie? Um, oh, was that Teleport movie? Uh, Blink? Not Blink. <laughs> oh, man. It was like Teleport movie? Uh, Where he, with who? With uh, Hayden Christensen. I don't remember that. Uh, oh, um... oh, yeah, it's going to kill me. <laughs> uh, I know what you're talking I'm about. Google it. I forgot. All right, quick pause. Podcast etiquette: Never Google things on your phone as you are um, That's right. talking. You, you keep talking, and then I'll jump back in. Yeah. So, I mean, is it a perfect movie? Of course not. But I enjoyed it. That's the thing. Uh, so the what I didn't like. So there's a couple of things. Uh, uh, I don't think the. Oh, sorry. Pause. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't like. There were some parts you can tell the CG wasn't good. 
Oh, yeah, that was another gripe. Inside, wait, wait. I remember, like, inside the mall when wait, they were wait, flying. Wait, wait. Let's, let's not endeavor, because let's end this thought, because yeah, okay. I'm going to go to the CG thing, too, because I didn't like that either. Yeah. So uh, it was called Jumper. Oh, yeah. And I, it seems pretty criminal, but who wouldn't do it? If you had the ability to teleport, why would you not teleport into a bank, take a little bit of money, teleport out? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but that's like greed. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like okay, yeah, you're trying to make your life better, whatever, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But this is like not even about making your life. This is, I guess, this is about making your life better. But from a from an external popularity standpoint, I didn't even feel that though. That's not what I felt. <sighs> that was happening. I guess because maybe, he was bullied. Maybe right? it's because he you don't suffer trying. from that. Maybe <laughs> you know, maybe you don't like. But I suffer from that. Like, like it. Why do you need to? Maybe that's even why I got into like yoga martial arts. It's like, why do I need this external validation of you? I can make myself awesome. You know what I'm saying? Right. All right. Yeah, Anyways. Maybe. <laughs> I just, I really griped hard with the story in this movie. Right. And that's uh, why I didn't I like liked it. I liked it a lot. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Like, like, even at the end, he was, like, he was like, oh, why are you guys at my table? We all have different lunches. And I'm like, oh, because there's a surprise. Oh, hey, Shazam showed up to make you cool. Yeah. That's so insecure, bro. Yeah, so? The, the fat guy in Spider-Man appreciated his fatness this this kid with the mm-hmm. messed up leg couldn't get past his messed up leg so it, it was a story about kids that suffer psychologically and the the hope is like what they're putting in your mind is one day maybe i'll get a superpower from a freaking wizard that's not real so you're just going to spend your whole life hoping for things that are obviously rather than making substantial change of accepting and loving yourself mm-hmm. like the fat dude in spider-man Sorry, you're not fat. The big bone dude, the Kingpin? hefty. No, no, no. Who are we the, the his his sidekick, Homecoming. That's my Homecoming. Okay. Or he's like he's like we all need a tech guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was yeah. he he embraced himself, and he made himself yeah. cool for being a loner. Mm. See what I'm saying? But like this movie was like. Don't worry, don't worry, kids that feel like you're losers. One day a wizard's gonna come. Rather than being like, yeah, but I like the kid in Spider Man, mm. but I excel in technology. So what I lack in, you know, physical appearance, but he's cute. I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh, what I lack in this, he's not focusing on his his flaws. He's focusing on his positives. Whereas this movie's about focusing on your flaws to a fault. That's why I was upset. Okay, I didn't feel that, but that's fine. All right, yeah. <laughs> Griping so hard about this. Yeah, bro. you are. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead. Um, so, but I love the actors. Oh, you yeah, guys were sick. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I like that. That's what I, I like the encounter. So, problems I didn't like, bad CG. Yeah, CG was tall. When the, when the Seven Deadly Sins came out, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so that was, part... Uh, no, no, but you know why, though? It's because we watched an IMAX. I keep telling you, it's like, it's too crisp that you could see the flaws. When I watched Avengers the first time, I was like, oh, they're wearing costumes. When I watched it the second I time... Feel, I didn't feel it with Avengers, though. All right, but I did. So when, yeah. when I when I saw Avengers the second time mm-hmm. in, like, a lower quality movie, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, I can get into it because you can't see that they're wearing... Like, the quality's not there, yeah. so it allows the mind to fill in the gaps. Mm-hmm. You know, all right, go ahead. Uh, then, you know... What I felt was kind of weird was like, I, I guess it was a desperate attempt, but um, Jim and Hans, who's character, um, the wizard. Oh my God. Uh, no, no, like, thing. like to choose their. Oh, I thought I meant the costume. Uh, it looks so dorky. I, I just. All right. You, you know what was also a continuity flaw in that one? The, all right. He was a wizard, right? Yeah. Wizards, the origin of a wizard comes from uh, the English times, right? Like yeah. th- that's where Merlin, the wizard, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. they they didn't believe in Zeus and Athena and all these things, but he kept saying, "I'm gonna give you the knowledge of Zeus. I'm gonna give you the power of Athena." You know, stuff like that. I was like, "Wait, this is Greek mythology. You're mixing Greek mythology with like Roman. Uh, it was more Roman mythology. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it was like, why are you flipping the two? I guess like when you know too much is like kind of irritating. Like it's like being a scientist." And no, but you gotta, like, it's just all make believe though, right? No, no, right, gotta, right, right. For sure. But it's like when Neil deGrasse Tyson is like, wait, the physics wouldn't work like that. Yeah, I know. But so it, this is a kid's story. It doesn't have to work. I know, like but that. it's like, why'd you have to name all these Greek gods that you, there was no wizards in Greek time? There were sorcerers, maybe, but 
And you were a wizard. You said you were a wizard. Yeah. And you look like a freaking wizard. Why do you have this long beard? <laughs> All right, anyways. Uh, the, the, what I meant, uh, my gripe was like the, how quickly he chose who Shazam was. Cause he, oh, he's desperate though. Yeah, Yeah, I know. Like, it was just like. Time was running out. Like, yeah, but it's like you waited so long and now you're just could have done that in the first See, place. See, so, ex- exactly. So you that know, was the, you, you know those what are the mo- plot holes that I, I didn't you, like. You know what this movie is propagating? Easy outs. Yeah. Like, oh, my life sucks. Sure. And I don't love myself. Don't worry, easy out, wizard's coming. Oh, I, can, I couldn't find the person that's correct. Oh, don't worry, easy out. Just give it to this kid. Mm-hmm. It's like, rather than doing the work, you're just choosing the easy out every time. And that's why I didn't like it. I, another reason why I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Love the characters, though. <laughs> just, I didn't like the story. Right. Yeah, the yeah. story was killing me. Right, right, right. The message behind the story. Go ahead. Uh, and then I just didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get the mom plot. I thought that was a little weird. But again, oh my I don't God. know, I don't know the, uh, this story at all, so. I don't know the story at all, too. So, but that mom plot was so terrible. It was like, well, continuity error, she, you guys said that she looked the same. I fell asleep for that part. I didn't know that she found he found <laughs> his mom. Yeah. But you guys were like, oh, she looked exactly the same as from the thing in the beginning. Or she didn't look 17. She In the movie, yeah. yeah. So it's like, bro, either cast better or like fix that plot hole. Right, right. It's like, kind of weird. And it's so dumb. It's like, it looked like you guys had a good relationship. Did they go back in time? I fell asleep, so... Did yeah, they, they did. They did and show, but so, she saw so that his he perception. was with the cops. No, no. But what I'm saying is, oh. was his perception of him and his mom having a good relationship different? So you know how, like, uh, kind of. It was. Uh, so he was I, deluding himself. He didn't actually have a good relationship with his mom. Well, I didn't think we saw the uh, her like stressfulness of having a kid. I don't know. I oh, they showed that her stress. I don't know, or I don't know if I looked into that after. I'm not too sure. Uh huh. But. It's so again, easy sorry. outs. Hold on, easy outs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have this kid at seventeen. Rather than like dealing with the situation or even giving him up for adoption, I'm just gonna leave him with this freaking <laughs> cop. Like that's it's, it's just the movie of easy outs. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm not looking at it like this. A patheticness because you don't need to. <laughs> it's just a movie. Uh, but still, it's like right. Like when I watch these things, I'm always looking for a deeper meaning. Oh yeah, you yeah. Know? Of course, of course. There's always good movies to do do do, do that. That do that. Yeah. But, uh, but they try to do that. I mean, it's like no. But see, see, see Warner Brothers been trying to do that, but it ne- it didn't work. But but <laughs> superhero like, movies are the quintessential thing that is going to like change the mindset of a generation. Like good example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I watched a lot of anime growing up, Street Fighter Two V, and then I posted on Instagram how like those scenes actually influenced my future life. Like, why did I travel? Because in that show, they're like, we should travel the world and find these different martial artists. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. that sounds really cool. Or like, uh, the right path is my path. It was like, yeah. oh, that's the message in the dojo. See so what I'm saying? It's like, you don't know what's going to be programmed in these kids' minds. So why are you going to program easy outs in the kids' minds? It should be like overcoming obstacles. I mean, it's just a fun movie. But this is That's going to program is. into children's minds in the future. Not That's what I'm saying. One movie, I don't think so. <laughs> if everyone's like this, maybe. <laughs> True, yeah. But no, but all I'm saying is that's why I, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's why I, I think it was sending the wrong message. I liked message. it because it was Love the actors. Just fun. That's all it was for me. Love the directing. <laughs> Love DC. Batman vs Superman was amazing, but but that nobody agreed with that. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> but so they had to do something. I just don't like the story. That's right. all. That's I don't like the message. You know, well, the story. Like... The story was had errors. Yeah, but does, also, yeah. I just didn't like the message behind the movie. Okay. Uh, I think that's like reason. That's reason. You know. All right. So continue. What, what else? What did you love this? Because you love this movie. So well, I said that I, really I, snarky. I, yeah, I was, yeah. I, was I know. Feeling, you know. I know. Sorry, I was geez. really pissed off at the movie. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Love you, buddy. I was just. Didn't like this movie. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I mean those are the things I like. Just that's what I would do with those powers. That's what how you would act as a kid if you had those powers. That's what I thought. Yeah. I. I, I get didn't. It. I didn't. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Again, because I guess I was coming into it already not. So it's like in so it's the like viewpoint of if if a kid is like, oh, I get wizard powers one day. Let me just abuse this. See what I'm saying? It's yeah. like. It's pre-programming. It's like I think that's reality. <laughs> no, I don't think that's reality. I think it's reality. 
maybe here, maybe maybe the new generation of reality, and that's what they're tapping into because they're like, oh, this will. You you don't think that? All right. I think all kids would do that. No, I don't think so. Many kids would do. No, that. no, no. I'm saying this generation. Okay. I'm saying past generations. That's why emo culture got so big. It was like anti-establishment. Punk culture was really big because it was like it was about going against the norm and being who you really are. <laughs> yeah, because there are no superheroes, so you have to do that. No, but there were superheroes like Superman, Spider Man, like the the original characters that they kept pumping out. No, no, no I know, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I feel a little bad. I took that out on you right there. I feel a little <laughs> much. I'm sorry about that. I was just really heated because I was like, "Oh man, why yeah, are you guys you, doing this?" Yeah, I just liked it because it was just a good movie. That's all I liked it as. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't but... look at it like in such levels because that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> True, I guess. Right? Yeah. I, I guess that's what, it, like, it was more, like, I know what I was getting into, and it just hit those marks that I was I guess. getting into. Of course, there's uh, problems with the story or gripes with the story, but, again, that's not a big deal. To me, at least. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let, let, me, let me talk about things I liked, at least. At least, yeah, sure. Uh, the jokes were really funny. I really liked the family vibe, like, the orphanness. They kind of made the parents seem kind of creepy in the beginning, though. When he got in the car and they turned around. No, I didn't, I didn't feel it creepy. I didn't feel, like, loving. I was like, ooh, what are you going to, like, abduct me? What's going on? <laughs> I didn't feel it creepy, though. Hmm. Uh, I just felt it was fine. It was fine, yeah. I, I thought that was kind of funny when he was giving his, like, evil superhero speech. And then he's like, wait, what? I was like, that is the reality of the situation. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is what it would be like. You wouldn't right. hear him from, like, a mile away. Mm-hmm. That was pretty funny. Like, the jokes were really good. I think these actors were amazing. That that kid with the leg issue, genius actor. I think he's so good. Yeah. He was good. Was and, good. like, the main kid character, he's got, like, this lovable quality about him. Like, this mischievous, lovable quality. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I didn't like? Um, <laughs> I said this in the beginning. Uh that's funny. I just like <laughs> went to good and then yeah, quickly right, back to bad. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, when he when he tricked those cops, I was like, "Oh, this kid's sick," right? Because I love that mischievous nature. But then I realized, like, wait, you're you're tricking the cops to get information on a person. Oh yeah, you want to. But it's like yeah. we live. It said present day, so it's like, dude, technology's advanced way further than this. You don't need to like open a phone book anymore just google that person's name maybe they have a facebook account or a linkedin you know what I'm saying like it was like it was like you didn't go through the normal well uh what i well i didn't even think of that because he looked like he went through so many names and this is another option to try maybe but why do you have a notepad bro uh i don't know it's a good point what are they trying to say he's like poor so he can afford a smartphone <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like uh, But yeah, you're yeah, you're he's... you're a trickster, like you you con the cops, why don't you just steal a smartphone? Mm-hmm. You know, like I don't know. Or maybe because he was an orphan so he doesn't know how technology works. Like what what angle were you guys going there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, don't know. Yeah, I did yeah. not think of that. It was not something again, not something important to me. <laughs> I was just like like Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like you're insulting my intelligence. Right. That's what this movie felt. Mm-hmm. The, sto- the plot holes in the story felt like insulting my intelligence. Right. Well, uh, true. These, I guess, didn't work for you. That's fine. Not everything has to. Um, but uh, we we hated Aquaman, but it was the best for DC, or best for Warner Brothers, actually. They really? Really, really good. Oh, you looked at the stats. Yeah, they did really, really good, and this is looking to be looking really, really good. Which one? Money-wise. The Sh- Shazam? Yes. Oh, well, yeah. I was looking at the IMDb just now, and it was, like, 7.8. Yeah. No, I mean, like, in, in uh, as, like, blockbuster-wise, uh, this is actually working for Warner Brothers. They tried the other way. Didn't work. This is more of the Marvel way, actually. Yeah, but still, it's not even really the Marvel way, because Marvel still has aspirations. Like, Tony Stark... They did it really good in Marvel, where it's like, yeah, he was a billionaire playboy, but he saw the error of his ways. Uh, like, yeah, this yeah. is like a Same fourteen-year-old thing. kid. Yeah, but you don't have any life experience. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. You put a fourteen-year-old with superpowers, what happens? That's, I know, but like, so how are you supposed games. to make a monumental change at fourteen? Uh, like, your inherent nature is, 
like looking at the psychology behind it, he was abandoned. He couldn't yeah. stay with the home. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden I'm supposed to believe that you changed because you were fighting bad guys. Yeah. There was no like, see like Tony Starks was like, he realized the weapons that he was creating were hurting people when he meant for them to protect people. Mm-hmm. So that's like, that's a monument. It's like, no, that's, that's a real revelation. But fighting a couple bad guys, how does that make you change in your revelation? Right. But I think that's what Marvel always had that uh, deeper meaning. Yeah, they all, they designed their characters to do that. I think DC had a hard time connecting with people. They just couldn't do it. With Thor. connecting with people, that's a great way to put it. That's what the error was. I felt it did do that. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna say that. Marvel does it better in terms of connecting. Oh, yeah, yeah, Marvel does it better, but that's why this worked, though. It was, yeah, it was an attempt, but it's like that is what all of these issues with these movies are. You yeah. can't really connect to people, and that's why Marvel's doing so well because they yeah. figured out how to connect to people. Yeah. Like, they're able to put comedy with action. Because, like, so, yeah, exactly. Because that's why, I think that's what people, that's why Batman versus Superman didn't work. It was, they were like, this. it was too dark. It's too dark. Like this should be more fun. Like why is it too dark? But it was sick. It was like I but know, that's, but that's the, what we that's, like. That's though, what right? I loved. That's what I loved about the DC universe. Is like Marvel is like happy go lucky. Yeah, but we're the DC's minority like, here, though, right? Yeah, true. They're, they're, they're not gonna make yeah, a podcast. Yeah, yeah we're <laughs> <laughs> true. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's nothing. Uh, they need to make money. This they need to find something that works. I know, but it's just like it feels. They disingenuous. Like, what I hear people were saying was they like the heartwarmingness of it too. So. Oh my god, really? Yeah, the family thing about it. <sighs> yeah, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I just saying that's that's. Wait, at the end, when he's like, like when he's like, oh, he's like all hands on deck, and then he was the one who made the like little affirmation prayer thing, and he's like, I now have a home. It's like, oh my god, bro. Mm-hmm. Pulling my heartstrings a little more, <laughs> in a bad way, not like a good way, not like Lion King. Right? Where it's like Mufasa, no. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it was like your yeah. the cheese ball it was a two cheese ball. Yeah, I guess you know that's why Dis- that's why Disney bought Marvel <laughs> because they knew that they were doing better. Of course, they're doing better. Yeah, that's true. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just so sad. Uh, so I guess there will be a sequel. So is it a success? Yeah, um, it looked like there was a sequel. I will not be watching the sequel. Uh, well, it depends on who it is. No, but if they have, I Black don't want to watch. Oh, that's kind of cool. But as uh, I don't know, I just... the rumors are, um, what's his name? Dwayne Johnson. Oh, that's cool. All right, if the Rock's in the movie, <laughs> I'll watch it. Love the Rock. We'll see. We'll see. What happens? Yeah, I don't know. What uh, any like? What else you got? Final thoughts? Uh, no. Uh, uh, final thoughts? I mean, I enjoyed it. I think people should check it out. You ever, um, do you remember uh, Simple Plan back in the day? I'm Just a Kid. The song. Oh, the song. It's was like the loser anthem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This This kind of felt like a loser anthem. I know what you mean, though. I know you what know you're what saying. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was an attempt to bring, see, like, a lot of kids back in the 90s felt very... Uh, unser- underserved like it was very like open we we felt like we were going on a direction that we didn't want to go like life was pushing us in this direction and hence the emo movement came about yeah. right like Simple Plan got really really big because like they were tapping into like insecurity right but it but the so like it felt like they were trying to do that with this they're trying to tap into insecurity mm-hmm. but the solution or the presentation of it was not the same as simple plan where it was like okay just be who you want to be this this movie was more about be who you want be who other people want you to be okay i didn't feel that well that's why you liked it and that's why i hated it <laughs> i get i didn't look into it like that level i don't think i'm gonna get anything from movies in that sense unless it's like from christopher nolan or something True. <laughs> you know what's really bad? Like, what's kind of freaky if you think about it? Like, the fact that I looked at it at that level, <laughs> it's like, no, but it's it's like right. it's like Guy right. Ritchie. He's like, when you're ready to glean what there is to glean, 
you can glean what there is to glean, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's like every story has like a deeper meaning. Yeah. That all storytellers know that there's a deeper meaning to stories, mm-hmm. right? And like, like, I feel like putting myself in that psychological state all the time of like analyzing things mm-hmm. has like has like habituated me to always look at things yeah. in that manner. It's not gonna always look like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know what it's saying. like I'm like maybe that's not a good thing. <laughs> it's like I, it's I didn't appreciate the movie, you know? But yeah. That's okay. No one has to not everyone has to like Like if I was gonna watch a movie about nothing, I would watch like the Chihuahua Wonder Dog movies. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's at least I know I'm my intelligence is gonna be insulted and that's fine. Right. Yeah. Sure. So you're. We you already spoke about final thoughts. Yeah, I liked it. People should check it out. All right, so we're gonna rescore it. What'd you score it? I'm eight. So I stick solid with, eight. Stick with eight. After analyzing it from this conversation, I'm gonna go for a one. <laughs> I went down. Damn, I usually go down, or I usually shift mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I enjoyed my character. Very influential. What? Uh, what does that say about my character if I always switch it every time? Right. It's like. So oh, I, I see. I see. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm. But that's that's. Wild. I mean, that's also good to have, though. It depends. That means you can change your mind based on your facts. Thanks, man. Thanks for putting that into positive right yeah. there. Actually, I'm gonna make it a two, because <laughs> one seems too harsh. I really like the comedy. I really like the actors. You guys made it a two. The story just killed me. Right. If it wasn't for the act, if it wasn't for the comedy and the actors, it would be a zero. Okay. Yeah. Right. And I like. I, I think I that's liked what the way I, it was filmed too. Like, yeah. I liked everything about the movie, literally minus the story and the message. But the story and the message is minus seven points. Yeah, because it's like okay. your, your. What do you mean minus seven? Minus or nine. minus nine? Yeah, uh, eight. Eight. eight, eight, yeah, eight minus eight. Right. Points, right. Um. No, because it's like you're, you're, you're marketing to children who are highly influential and you're giving them the incorrect message at a very susceptible age. Okay. And that's why I was like, that's not cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's what's wrong with our culture now. It's like if you look at the young people who are coming into fame, if they're coming into fame – from negative points and these people are like loving on them these these kids nowadays are loving on them like that girl uh, um well the catch me outside girl but there's the other one with the she's always like let me flex on him the little girl little the asian, asian yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you remember she's not little that tay? I don't know. little tay yeah. Little tay? <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah that's the internet for you that's what that's what's happening now <laughs> like i can't watch that i'd just be like oh, oh. Like, this is, you, you are, people always look to their peer group yeah. who are famous, right? And it's like, now all these kids are going to be like, oh, I'm Little Tay, Little mm-hmm. Tay. Like, it was, it was like, um, it was like Thrasher now mm-hmm. is like popular, right? But Thrasher is, is a skateboarding thing, right? Mm-hmm. So then everyone started wearing Thrasher. My cousin was like wearing Thrasher. And I was like, oh, why are you wearing Thrasher? Because uh, it's cool. And I'm like, yeah, it's a skateboarding thing, right? You know, that's like a punk thing, right? You like punk music? You know what I mean? It's like, but it's like, no, it's cool because other people are using it. That's what I'm saying. It's it's fine that you think that way, but I'm saying like as an adult, me now, looking at it, it's like, yeah, but that's what people are doing. You're influencing the future generations. And I don't think this is a good direction of influence. Once again, I like to state that everything else from the movie was amazing. <laughs> Like, if the story yeah. was different, honestly, if it was, like, if they if, just changed the story, me, I would be like, this yeah. is a 10. So, Swear to God, it was a 10. Yeah. If it was different, story-wise. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the comedy fine. was that's on fine. point, the actors were on point, yeah. the visuals were on point, minus CGI. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I just can't get behind that kind of stuff. Okay. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's like when people post those, like, uh, World Star videos and they see somebody getting, like, 
um, there was this video my cousin showed me. I was like, oh, man, that's so negative. Uh, it's like this girl was shopping, and these two girls from school saw her, so they ran up and, like, slapped her in the face, and then her other friends started beating her in the face with, like, fists, and then they all ran out of the store, and that girl was just crying, and I was like, nah, guys. We can't be like that as a society. You know what I'm saying? Well, the reality is they were. <laughs> I know. We don't right. Know. They are because society is about hurting cats. Right? Like, mm-hmm. we, the majority of people just want to be told what to do. Uh, yeah. Literally. Of course. That, that, is, that is what it is. Yeah. And then the creators are the ones pushing society in different directions. Mm-hmm. And then people are like, oh, no, I don't want to be told what to do. It's like, okay, then what are your thoughts? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be a free-thinking person is to have ideas that you've challenged and you can stand behind no matter what other, what other people say. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, even for this podcast, there's, there's like, some people who are like, um, they're like, oh, I listen to that thing and I, like, disagree with it. I'm like, oh, okay, you want to challenge me on it? Because I totally stand behind everything I said. You know, yeah. or I'm willing to listen to an alternate viewpoint because I might be wrong, but yep. I didn't say it from a place of like I want you to like me. Mm-hmm. You know, but you were never like that too, so it's like no. you, you aren't still like that. So it's like, so I can get why you're looking at it completely superficially. Yeah, just exactly why I would give it a ten too. If there was no story, I'd give it a ten. You gave it an eight, but I would give it a ten. It was really good, minus the story. <laughs> And the message. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, you say no to watching. I say go ahead, watch it. <laughs> All right. What, what, is, what is the final score? Well, yeah, I stick with eight. I don't know. Average score. I don't know. You Stop, do that, man. Nice. All right. Well, I was going to pull out my phone right now. No, five. Eight plus two divided by two. Sure. Ten divided by two. Five. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a five. So it is a toss up. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> uh, I, I unintentionally did that. It is it is exactly a fifty percent. Yeah. So if you're looking for the superficial, go check it out. I advocate that. But if you're looking for the deeper meaning, do you advocate what I just said? Right. Do, no, I'm asking you, oh. do you advocate it? Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. So then it's a perfect 50-50. Yeah, yeah. If you want the superficial, go check it out. I agree. It would be, if you just want to have fun, that's all. That's what I'm If you just want to have fun, totally. Yeah, I don't would think, agree. Don't, I, I just, yeah, I don't take it seriously. That's the whole point. Like, take nothing in this movie seriously. Just enjoy the ride. Just enjoy the ride. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah. But if you're looking like, oh, I want to take my kid to a movie so that he'll be inspired, don't do this. Because this is just going to create spoiled brats. Right. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Who thought we'd go so like? When I did not expect. This I know, to be a long right? One. Like, <laughs> honestly, when I was like, okay, it's gonna be an easy podcast this week. It's just gonna be a movie review. And then like watching, it's like I was like, oh, we're probably gonna talk about like how cool it was. Mm-hmm. The jokes were funny, blah blah blah. But like, I didn't know we'd go into this deep psychoanalysis because I hated it so much and you loved it. So it was like, oh, I mean, it's good. It's, it's good. good to have opposing views. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, all right. So next week, any movies coming out? Uh, not next week, I don't think. Um, when does... My sister was asking when Avengers is. Oh, that's the end of, end of this month. <laughs> Sorry. End of this, yeah, but that's still... That's not next week. No, it's not next week. End yeah. of this month. Uh, so I guess you'll check out a weekly roundup unless we end up watching a different movie, but I don't think there's going to be any other movies. So enjoy yeah. it. Like with life take it both seriously and not seriously at times yeah you got a philosophical message Vish to like end the month uh <laughs> I don't know dig um, deep dig deep dig deep okay you're gonna say something you're gonna say something super philosophical I don't know man you don't need superheroes oh that was actually pretty oh that's actually really super that's uh not superficial that was actually f- good philos. wow can't speak that was actually a very good philosophical statement. You don't need superheroes. Look internally to find gratitude and happiness and not external <laughs> gratification because right. that's all transient. At the end of the day, the people that are around you are going to come and go, but you will be stuck with you forever, so make sure you like you. Yeah. You like that? I took your like little little seed I know, and I yeah, grew it into a tree. Yeah, yeah. Grew into a tree. <laughs> and now we're eating apples from that tree. 
Mm, the forbidden apple. Of knowledge. <laughs> yeah. But knowledge is what got us out of the garden. Yes. Only to realize that the garden was here the whole time. Oh my God, see how I'm doing this? Oh, right, let's just stop apples one up. Right, let's stop right now. <laughs> I think it's tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. All right, take it easy. Oh, watch our behind the scenes so you can see how we bring these episodes to you every single week and enjoy. Yes. See, hold on, final thing. Oh. See, everything we do, I, I, I like to believe, has like a grain of like not what Shazam was about. And that's <laughs> why I didn't like Shazam. <laughs> right? Sure. All right, take it easy. Yes. Peace. Peace.